What's up guys, Gary here. The Mazda RX model has been discontinued since the RX-8 and so has the rotary engine. The possibilities of its return is highly unlikely because of stricter regulations. Or could there still be a chance of its return? Let's speculate on the possibilities. The RX Vision was displayed in 2015 at the Tokyo Motor Show which teased of what a future rear-wheel drive rotary RX model would look like. There were no details on the engine, but this is where we were first made aware of Skyactiv R. These concept models are not to be taken seriously because their dimensions are larger and more flamboyant to attract attention. Two years later, the Mazda Vision Coupe appeared using the same design language as the RX Vision from 2015. This resembles a futuristic Mazda 6 to me. What do you think? The Vision Coupe design was inspired by the RX Vision and might share the same platform to reduce costs if it makes it to production in the future. It might even clue us in that the RX model might be introduced at this time. Which leads to what type of engine will be used for this new RX model? The RX moniker has always used a rotary engine, so using a piston engine would be an insult to the RX model. The rotary engine does have weaknesses and they tend to be oil consumption, apex seals, lack of torque, emissions, fuel efficiency, and reliability. These items do not help how people view rotaries and the sales show it. Purists will say it's a lack of rotary education, which can be true since there are more piston engines in the world, but there's no denying that the rotary does have issues. Mazda stated in 2007 that they had a Renesis 2 16X engine program, which they hoped would resurrect the rotary engine. It has not been heard of since the discontinuation of the last rotary engine with the RX-8. But all hope is not lost for diehards. Mazda applied for a patent in March 24th of 2016, which I believe may eventually be used under the Skyactiv R and references to the Skyactiv Rotary. Skyactiv will be used to address key issues with the rotary engine such as emissions, fuel efficiency, and reliability. Diehard rotary fans can rejoice as this may be the return of the rotary engine for a future RX model. Now let's take a look at the patent drawing. This rotary engine does not seem to share anything with past rotaries as you can see the components are no longer in the same orientation. The intake and exhaust ports will be located on the left side of the engine. But there is now a very familiar device sitting on top of the engine, a turbocharger. Having the turbocharger on top will concentrate the heat source above the engine and allow easier access for maintenance or upgrades. The turbocharger will also allow greater power increases, especially once the aftermarket gets their hands on it. The intake manifold located on the bottom has long runners to provide torque and let's hope it doesn't get heat soaked from the turbo system nearby. There were also rumors that the displacement may increase to 1.6 liters and it's estimated to have 450 horsepower. It's supposed to now also use aluminum end plates compared to past rotary engines that use iron. Looking at the fuel injectors, it doesn't seem like it's using direct fuel injection like most future engines are implementing. I think it's because of clearance issues because there's no cylinder head dome or piston dome like traditional engines. There has also been discussions of using a rotary as a range extender for an electric car, but not much information is out at this moment if it'll be used in an RX sports car. Knowing Mazda, the engine will also sit behind the shock towers and low just like past rotary cars to provide a 50-50 balance. Mazda Sky Active treatment may also include use of lightweight materials and components. The next question is, what chassis will they use? The current Mazda Miata chassis was rumored to be an option since it's only 3 years old now. The RX has always been the bigger brother to the Miata, so it would most likely receive larger body panels. It would also save on costs since the Miata chassis is currently shared with the Fiat 124. At the rate Mazda is going and design language, the future RX model most likely will not use the Miata chassis. The main concern though on the future RX model will be power, price, and competition. It's rumored to have 450 horsepower at the moment, and there's really nothing from Japan that's comparable. The Nismo 370Z is around $46,000 with only 350 horsepower, so my best assumption is the RX model will be above $50,000. Competition at 450 horsepower 
would be with the muscle cars, which might be more affordable and reliable compared to the RX model that's expected. The reality is that the market is not here at the moment. There are just too many sports cars and sales have been dropping for them. It doesn't seem like a wise decision to bring something out at a time like this, but maybe Mazda will surprise us with a rotary powered RX model soon. I think this could be great news for rotary fans if it does happen, but it seems like there are too many factors going against the model and it's primarily focused on the rotary engine being reliable, fuel efficient, and meeting emissions requirements. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and subscribe for future content. I'll see you in the next one.